No. What's up, guys? Welcome back to a, another video. Episode 2 of the Sex Shack Change Transformation Renovation. Um, so... A little bit has changed here, so I'll do a quick little update here just at the beginning of the video. Um, if you remember back to the last video, I was planning on just adding some rafters in and putting some rigid styrofoam in, um, and then bedlining or direct to metal uh, roof armor, roof coating, um, basically a, rub a hot sprayed rubberized um, coating on top just to seal everything in on top. Now, we've kind of went away from that, um, A, due to the fact that bed liner is super expensive right now. Um, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna still be adding in a couple rafters and splicing some things in. However, we're going to be spray foaming it. Now, I know that for somebody who doesn't do spray foam, um, this might not be the best option. So if you are, you know, maybe you're looking to do this kind of a project or, um, you know, you have a camper like this already and you want to renovate it and you're thinking about going this far. Um, I, I totally understand that spray foam might not be in, inside of a budget that you're working with. And, and that's totally understandable. You can do the same thing with a rigid, rigid installation. Um, the only reason I'm doing with spray foam is because A, I do it for a living. Um, it is a great product. And B, it's right now with the price of rigid insulation, it's, it's actually cheaper to go with spray foam. So... And then it'll also help with this tin issue of having um, sagging tin. Uh, it'll basically glue everything. It'll all be structural. And yeah, so that's why I'm going with that option. Now, before we get going into what we're working on today and into tomorrow, I want to address a question I got asked, uh, a comment rather, on the last video. Um, I had a person, I won't say gentleman, I had a person ask me why I didn't tear that ceiling out. And the reason is my original plan with doing the rigid foam was I was going to fill this area with can foam, window door foam, you know, the great stuff or Hilti foam, whatever you are using. Um, and then just put my, uh, my styrofoam strips in there and up against. And because we were sealing it from the top with a bed liner or a direct to metal coating, I wasn't that worried about it. Um, but with changing it now, yes, that ceiling will be coming out. Um, so that hopefully that answers your question. Um, but back to what we're doing today, we have picked up all of our electrical stuff. Okay, so we picked up some LEDs. These are uh, commercial electric. Uh, they are 500 lumen a piece. Um, yes, yeah, so they're four inch recessed LED pot lights. Um, this is broken already, okay. Probably why they're so cheap. Uh, you got these handy little tabs here. However, they are a a little thick, but I guess the ceiling's gonna go up and give us a little bit of room. So anyway, we'll we'll make that work. I uh, pick a battery tester, wire, switches, batteries, morettes. We're basically set. So um, yeah, that's what we got for today. And then uh, yeah, get ready for foam. And as soon as foam's done, we're ready to paint. It's coming along. Let's get after it.
so it got a little dark last night. I uh, wasn't able to film much more. Uh, and by the time we had supper, it was dark and whatever, not having any lights was the issue. Now, however, oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here. We got light. Look at that. Got that bad boy in there. That's pretty awesome. We also got some framing fixed. Uh, we put our one by fours up to help support the roof. Um, yeah, so we're gonna keep going on today and see what we can all get done. Let's get after it. So we got all of the lights in. There's that one hanging a little bit. All the lights are in and wired in. Um, I'm gonna wait till it's a little darker to see if they work. Uh, cross your fingers. Um, other than that, we got a little more backing to do, um, which I'll probably tackle uh, during the week. Uh, a couple more pieces of rafter to fix. And then we are ready whoop, for foam. Uh, we will be taking the bunk out. Um, but yeah, other than that, this electrical thing is uh, sometimes, well, for me, it's mind numbing. I, I don't do this very often, so a lot of thinking power and trying to understand how it all works and this is fairly simple and that goes to show you i'm not the sharpest tool in the shed so anyways i think we are done here for today we'll give it a good clean out uh either uh, probably probably sometime this week so yeah guys with all the electrical done i think we're gonna call that a day um thanks so much for checking out the video make sure you like comment subscribe and we will see you on the next one out!